was there a holy shit moment for you guys where you kind of both looked at each other during the investigation and you realized that this wasn't just a few athletes, this wasn't just one countries from one uh, athletes from one or two countries like this is a worldwide ring was was there a, a holy shit like this is big bigger than we thought moment you know m- mine was slightly different you know we were we were covering this big story but of course it focused on the biggest sports star in our region and uh, uh, and, and on on the local baseball team so our focus was bonds and i remember Um, Mark had heard early on that, uh, that uh, Barry was using steroids and uh, he had enough unnamed sources that under ordinary circumstances, you just print it. But the paper was like, nobody's going to believe a story based on unnamed sources that Bond is using steroids. So we couldn't go that route. Mm -hmm. I remember a source had this, tape recording I referenced that was recorded in the Giants clubhouse. And it was Greg Anderson, Bond's weight trainer, describing in detail Barry's drug use. Um, And I remember when a a source played that for me the first time. And that was my moment that A, it was true. And B, I think we're going to get this in the paper someday because it was absolutely conclusive evidence mm-hmm. to me. And that was when I was like, holy moly, we're going to get there. There were other moments too, yeah. Mark. Uh, Mark, I think, Mark, I mean, yeah, I, you may I, have scored think, some documents yeah. that uh, were pretty uh, uh, telling. I mean, I, I think I had a couple of holy shit moments. The first holy shit moment about like recognizing that this could be huge was not that long after the raid, we got a tip at the paper from somebody who clearly – was inside or at least knew somebody who was inside the investigation and, um, and laid out the number of athletes who were involved and that they were all getting performance enhancing drugs from, from uh, Conti and Balco Mm. and bonds was at the center of that. And Mm. so just sort of seeing that tip and, and seeing it all come together in that way and knowing that we might have access to somebody who had some real insights and knowledge about how huge this thing was, that was a fairly like, holy shit moment for sure. Although as Lance said, the paper was dubious about whether we could get that. I think, I think we might've been dubious too initially. Mm. Um, and then, you know, I think when we had instances where we got, you know, grant, we got, we got access to grand jury testimony or, uh, investigative documents. I mean, it's interesting. The first story we had that flat out talked about bonds receiving these drugs in a, in a documented way, was based on an investigative document in an interview with Conti and in which he he said in talking to investigators that Bonds had been one of the athletes he'd given the drugs. And I remember Lance and me both sort of working up that story and thinking, okay, this is it. We finally have the sort of like, you know, so-called smoking gun or anybody who mm. has doubts now can't have doubt anymore. Yeah. And I remember laughing. This goes back to what Lance was talking about earlier. We published that story and the reaction among a lot of Giants fans was, well, you said he got the drugs. You didn't say he used them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just, stock, like, he's just stockpiling, shit, really? uh, just stockpiling testosterone minute. and HGH in his apartment. I'm like, that's when you, re- yeah, that's <laughs> when you realized at least to some Giants fans, you were going to need to have actually a picture of him injecting yeah. himself in his ass. Yeah. Um, but I, I thought that was a sort of holy shit moment in its own weird way. Yeah. Where, where do you think we are today with the rogue chemists versus the testing organizations? Because I had no idea that the testing organizations like USADA had to have the specific molecule to test for. I thought it was kind of like a broad thing where you can kind of do do a broad stroke test and a bunch of things pop up and abnormalities. And if there's an abnormality, like bang, like this is it. I had no idea that you had to have a specific test to test for that drug in particular. Do you think that the chemists are ahead of the testing organizations for the most part today? Do you think they're the, the testing organizations are just like 
covering blanket covering all the the options somewhere in the middle where do you think we are on that with pro sports I mean, I, I, I will fully admit, I, I, you know, we haven't covered this story in, in for year in years. And so I'm not as I'm not, I haven't been covering steroids and performance enhancing drugs in the way that we used to. Um, but I do I do have a sense both from colleagues who are covering it and also just the ongoing reporting around it and and the, the background of our our reporting. You know, the reality is, you know, guys are going to keep using if they want to keep using. The drugs are out there. They work. And, um, and you know, the cheaters are always ahead of the testers. I think the testing has got considerably better. You know, they do test for – it's true that for to be able to detect that specific drug, they needed to be able to find out about it to be able to do it. Yeah. But in most cases, you know, there's a panel of drugs that they're testing for, and 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 the range of those and the impact of those is – can be found at the same time, you know, there's, there's still, you know, no great testing for human growth hormone. There's still, um, without blood testing and, um, you know, or at least, you know, at least that effective. And then a lot of, a lot of athletes have learned ways to microdose that are effective. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty cynical about this. I, I think the idea, I always laughed when, when I knew why they did it, but I always laughed when baseball talked about its steroid era, as it was this, this, as if it was this defined period in time yeah. that was over once Balco hit, right? Like it's such horseshit, you know. The idea that that now that they have testing, they've solved this problem is is ludicrous. 